All right, guys, so from what I can tell, there seems to be a lot of confusion about your leader line and what, si what size it, sh could, it should be uh, as opposed to your main line and stuff like that. Uh, I see a lot of controversy on it. But uh, from my understanding, there's actually two different ways to do it, and both ways are right. And let me explain to you. So for those of you don't, who, who don't understand what a, a leader line is, so you have your main line that comes from your fishing rod. And then this is, a, for example, a Carolina rig. I've got a four ounce no roll sinker with a glass bead and then a two watt barrel swivel. And then this piece of monofilament is my leader line. Now, my braided line on this rig is 65 pound test and my monofilament on this one is 50 pound test so the leader line is less has less uh, strength tensile strength than my main line now the reason you want this setup is let's say you're fishing an area like what I've got behind me with lots of rocks or cover uh, branches structure well so you don't have to re-rig this whole setup, you know, uh, weight, bead, swivel. You, you have a lighter line here, so if your hook gets hung up, this piece snaps. So boom, this breaks, but you still get this part back. Now you just tie another leader with your hook, and you're good to go. Now that's one scenario. Now, another scenario is having your leader line heavier than your main line. Now, the reason for that is, okay, let's say you find an area or you're familiar with an area that is, um, let's say it's real sandy or it's, there's not really many snags. And on top of that, you find a big school of catfish. Well, if you were fishing with this rig, 50 pound, and 65, half a dozen catfish into this leader, those teeth of theirs are like sandpaper and they're gonna be wearing this down. And this is gonna get weak and eventually you're gonna lose fish. So in this scenario, you're gonna want a heavier leader, maybe even a 80 pound leader here, as opposed to a weaker one. So you'd have a 65 here and an 80 pound here because you know the area, you're not gonna get snagged up and you're going to be catching fish that are going to be putting a lot of pressure and strain and uh, abrasion on, on, your, on your line here. So those are the two reasons. Now, once again, if you're heavy cover, you want, a lighter, you want a lighter leader that's going to break off. And if you're fishing an area where you're into a lot of fish and you know you're not going to get hung up too much, you want a heavier one. So that's just my quick tip as far as leaders are concerned. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.